Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadhanwar and today I am going to upload another challenging question from the past paper equilibrium constant. This is the question number five and we are going to discuss AQAA level chemistry. So let's see this question is really really a bit harder one but feel confident I will make it easy for you. Let's see. Nitrogen and hydrogen are mixed in A1 ratio, 3 mole ratio and left to reach equilibrium in a flask at a temperature of 550 Kelvin. The equation for the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen is shown here. Come to, the, come to the part A of the question number 5. When equilibrium was reached, the total pressure in the flask was 150 kilopascal and the mole fraction of ammonia gas in the mixture is 0 0.80. Calculate the partial pressure of each gas in this equilibrium mixture. So this is a three marks questions. We have to find out the partial pressure of nitrogen. We have to determine the partial pressure of hydrogen, which is a quite challenging. But the good news is it's quite easy to find out the partial pressure of ammonia. So let's solve this. How to find partial pressure of ammonia? So where is space? Yes, I can write here. Partial pressure of ammonia is equals to, there is a formula, the mole fraction of ammonia times total pressure. Mole fraction of ammonia times total pressure, which is 150 here. This is PT, total pressure of the flask. So mole fraction of ammonia is 0 0.80 and total pressure is 150 kilopascal. So simply what you need to do, take your calculator and multiply 0.80 times 150. When you multiply these two values, the answer would be 120 kilopascal. So guys, here you can put 120 kilopascal. This is the answer for the partial pressure of ammonia. But the partial pressure of nitrogen and hydrogen is not so easy. Let's see how can I make it, make them easy for you. I'm going to raise, you can save it. I'm going to raise the stuff. And, okay. Guys, you know this, total pressure is equals to partial pressure of nitrogen plus Partial pressure of hydrogen, and this is product is also gas. So partial pressure of ammonia. Total pressure given in the question is 150, while the partial pressure of nitrogen is not given. We have to find partial pressure of hydrogen is not given. We have to find while the partial pressure of ammonia we just calculated 120 kilopascal. So if I rearrange that equation. If I if I bring 120 to the other side, 150 minus 120, that would give me the collective partial pressure of the reactants, nitrogen, and the partial pressure of hydrogen. That would be one that would be just 30 kilopascal. So this is the partial pressure of nitrogen and the partial pressure of hydrogen collectively, 30 kilopascal. Now I'm gonna use this. 30 kilopascal. This would act as total pressure of reactant side. Total pressure of reactant side, right? And these are the reactants. So now I use this approach to find partial pressure of nitrogen, which is equals to mole fraction of nitrogen. A mole fraction I'm used to, I am going to use the symbol X for mole fraction. Mole X means X represent here mole fraction. In some past paper, you would you would find this, this symbol for mole fraction. Both are okay. So X is the symbol of mole fraction. Mole fraction of nitrogen times total pressure. Remember, total pressure of reactant, which is now 30 kilopascal. So mole fraction of nitrogen would be like that if uh, moles of nitrogen over total moles of the reactants, 3 plus 1, 1 plus 3, 4. So 1 divided by 4, 
that is 0 0.25. This is the mole fraction of nitrogen. So here I'm going to put 0 0.25. This is the mole fraction of nitrogen. Total pressure of reactant side is 30. So when you multiply 0 0.25 with 30 kilopascal, you would get 7.5 kilopascal. So this is the partial pressure of nitrogen. Now let's come to hydrogen. Partial pressure of hydrogen is equals to mole fraction of hydrogen times total pressure of reactant site, which is 30 kilopascal. Focus here. This is a critical point. If you if this is not clear to you, don't hesitate. You can contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching classes as well. So partial pressure of hydrogen. So first I need to find mole fraction of hydrogen. Here is space, mole fraction of hydrogen, moles of hydrogen divided by total moles. That is 0 0.75. Let me confirm this. 3 divided by 4. That should be 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 times times 30 when you multiply you would be getting 22.5 or you can say approximately 23 kilopascal so here you're going to put 23 kilopascal and here mole fraction of nitrogen you're going to put 7.5 kilopascal so guys this is the questions which i really found very challenging i hope this video makes sense to you this question is clear and do not hesitate, feel free to contact me for every questions. If you find any question challenging, you can just WhatsApp me. You can email me that question. I will make a video for you. I will make it upload a video for you. Thank you so much for watching and do share these questions, such my series with your classmates. Thank you so much for watching again. Enjoy.